What's up guys, Miranda here, and today I have a new tag video for you guys. Y'all know I love doing these tags. They're so much fun to do, just to uh, get to know people and just, you know, it's it's fun. It allows you to put content out there, and I just think that they're fun to do. It gives you something to do when you're bored. So, doing the TMI tag today. Now, there's different variations of it out there. I recently watched a video by Blessed Alicia. She did the TMI tag, so I have the questions from her video here, but I also, you know, was looking through other people's videos and stuff, and so I have a bunch of questions that I kind of, you know, just tossed together from other videos that I've seen. So I have quite a few questions, don't know if I'm going to get through all of them, I'm going to try to. Some of them are a little maybe PG-13, you guys, just a heads up. <laughs> um, but anywho, so let's go ahead and get started with this. So question number one is, ever been in love? Obviously, like numerous times I have been, some great, some not so great, but obviously right now I am in love with my husband, of course been together for over eight years um our actually our anniversary is here in a few weeks so yes i am currently in love you guys <laughs> um ever had a terrible breakup yes and i want to say that this was by far the worst breakup i ever had and it was kind of a coincidence that me and my best friend in high school we went through a terrible terrible breakup at the same exact time so it was like the same day and we were drinking away the pain and just total waterworks, you guys. So, um, but yeah, this was a pretty bad breakup. It was, I want to say like the first time I was truly in love and the guy cheated on me. It was kind of a long distance. It wasn't like too far so i was like a half hour up past seattle he was down in vancouver so it's like three between three and four hours but you know i'd see him when i would go to my mom's which would be like a couple times a month i'd see him like on summer break spring break winter break all that and um it was crazy because you know he cheated on me with a girl whose name just so happens to be the same as mine, Miranda. So that wasn't exciting. <laughs> and um, so that was kind of painful, that alone, that she just happened to have the same name as me. And another thing is that he actually never made the drive up to where I live, yet he drove up for a freaking booty call, um, like, to a city that's like maybe 45 minutes from where I live. So that was just, I thought that was stupid. And then the worst part is that it happened like twice, you guys. It happened twice, yes, I know, I let it happen twice. And the second time, that happened. So that was kind of the end of it for me was that, you know, he left her prego, so yeah. How tall am I? I am 5'2". I'm shorty. I have a lot of short people problems, you guys. <laughs> How much do you weigh? It's really none of your business, but I am... My weight just kind of like fluctuates in between like 230 to like 240. So I'm like somewhere in between there. I don't exactly know, but around there. Any tattoos? No. I've always wanted to get one, you guys, but I've just been so chicken to do it. Like, I just, I can't. I have so many, like, great ideas for tattoos that I want, but I've just, I can't do it. I'm too scared to. Like, I don't mind getting shots or getting my blood drawn, but I don't know how I really feel about, you know, having a needle, like, tear away at my skin. So, maybe one day. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'll work up the courage to go get one, but we'll see. Any piercings? So I just have my ears pierced. I used to have two holes. I don't actually don't have any earrings in right now, but I used to have two holes. I only have one now. And then I used to have my tongue pierced, which I kind of miss it. I've It's kind of been in my head that I want to get it done again, but I'm not really sure. Um, and I also, like, I want to get a bar here, but I don't know. We'll see. 
favorite show so right now the only show that i really watch is star it's on its third season you guys it's about a like group of like girls singing you know that kind of thing so if you're into that i highly recommend star um it's been super awesome the past couple seasons and now that we got cable installed on monday um i just watched the first two episodes yesterday and so today is going to be the third episode so I'm excited to be able to watch my show. And then when that's not on, I'm watching Blue Bloods, which is, you know, a cop show. I mainly just watch it because my cousin plays Jamie Reagan in it. Long story, long line of cousins, you know. And then I do also like to watch um, the, the Bachelor, the Bachelor Wet Wet. The Bachelorette when it's on. I know it's kind of corny, it's kind of stupid, but you know, it gives me something to watch. Um, other than that, I don't really know, like, what other shows are out there. I know lots of people have, like, you know, all these shows that they watch, but I don't know. None of them just really, like, spark my interest, so. Uh, favorite band? Honestly, you guys, I don't listen to music enough to really know what bands are out there right now. Like, I'm kind of stuck in all of, like, the oldies, like, music from the 90s and stuff like that. Like, I have no idea what's hip right now, so um, I honestly don't know what bands are out there, so I can't really say I have a favorite band at this time. Someone you miss? I miss my sister, you guys. Like, now that she's gone away to college, it's been a little bit hard on me these past couple weeks just because, you know, I used to talk to her more frequently, at least a few times a week, or we'd text. Um, you know, I see her maybe once or twice a month when we would go visit my mom, but now that she's up in Seattle, it's like, you know, she's just busy with her classes, with her homework, doing her school stuff, hanging out with her new friends that she has over there. So, you know, we don't really get to talk. I think in the past, I want to say she's been there, what, like three weeks now? I think in the past three weeks, I've only talked to her like twice. So it's a little rough on me, you guys. So I wish I could see her and hopefully I can like see her soon. How old am I? I am 27 going on 28 here in a few months. Favorite song? Oh, Lordy. Um, I don't really know if I have a favorite song. Um... Again, I don't listen to music enough to really know what's out there, what, you know, songs are out and stuff. So, um, there's just so many songs. Like, I'm, like I said, I'm like stuck in my 90s kind of music and stuff. So, I like all the songs from like back then from like groups and like individuals and stuff. So, um, I don't really know. Like, I love lots, there's lots of songs that I like in English, lots of songs that I like in Spanish, but I think, what is the song called? There's one in Spanish, it's called Tu Perfume, something like that, who sings it. Um, um, I forget if it's La Royola or Banda Recodo, I'm not sure, but one of those. But I really like that song for some reason, I don't know, but yeah. Oh, and there's one song actually in Spanish. It's called Rayando el Sol by Juana. That used to be like my all-time favorite song. Like that was a song growing up. I hit that thing on repeat and I don't know. That's like the only like rock band that I like that sings in Spanish. I mean, there's a couple other ones, but they're like the main ones if you guys know who they are. Zodiac sign. I am a Capricorn. Uh, quality you look for in a partner honestly I mean it's all about honesty and communication faithfulness I mean as long as they have those qualities then you know I, I'm good I don't care if they're like you know it doesn't matter if they're like you know funny or sensitive or whatever just as long as they have those three kind of main qualities because those are very important Obviously, you need to be able to communicate with each other, you need to be, you know, open and honest about everything and, you know, just stay faithful. I've learned the hard way, you guys. Favorite quote? Um, favorite quote. I do like 
the quote by Eleanor Roosevelt, um, how, how the heck does it go? It's something, oh my gosh, why can't I think of this quote? It's like, to, no, something about like, like the past, the present, and the future, or something like that. I think it was something like yesterday's history, tomorrow a mystery, today is a gift. Something around like that. I don't know, but it's something like that. I think that's probably my favorite quote. Favorite actor? Oh, man. I think my top two, my top two favorite actors are definitely Tyler Perry and Denzel. <laughs> um, like, I seriously, like can't go wrong with the Tyler Perry movie and it's just all you know funny and drama and just like a good mix of everything and Denzel like you really can't go wrong with them his movies either favorite color I really like teals and blues I like coral like coral pinkish colors I guess um so I also like olive green and like mustard yellow um, just kind of those specific colors, but yeah. Loud music or soft? Um, I'm all about loud music, you guys. Like, I can't, I honestly can't stand soft music. Like, it bores me, okay? <laughs> so, I'm not really into, like, those, like, slow, I don't know. I just, I'd rather have something that I can, like, move around to, you know, makes me feel, like, energetic and stuff. So, definitely loud music. Where do you go when you're sad? I just kind of like lock myself in my room. Like if I need some me time to myself, if I'm just feeling down. I just want some time to breathe, to think things through. So I just go to my room and I stay in there until I am ready to come out. How long does it take you to shower? Probably a good 20 to 30 minutes. It just kind of depends. If I'm doing, you know, everything, shaving and all that, conditioning my hair which I don't really do very often but I should um definitely like 20 to 30 minutes if it's just you know I shave the day before whatever and I'm just taking a quick shower probably like 10 minutes um how long does it take you to get ready in the morning honestly it doesn't like I don't even really get ready <laughs> Um, you know, I'll sometimes, you know, I'll just take my shower, change my clothes, brush my teeth, and that's about it. Like, I'm not one that does my makeup every day. Y'all know, you rarely ever see me with makeup. Um, I've just always been so, like, minimal when it comes to even doing my makeup. I usually do it if I'm, like, going out somewhere with hubby or something like that, or just whenever I feel like I'm in the mood to kind of get a little dolled up. But I'm very simple when it comes to that and, you know, to getting ready, like I said, shower, put my clothes on, brush my teeth, brush my hair, and that's it. So, I mean, it doesn't take me long at all. Ever been in a physical fight? Um, yes. Oh, man. Um, I would say twice. One of them was this stupid fight over a boy with this one daughter of a family friend it was seriously like the stupidest thing but they made us go at it so that we could win a date for a boy for this guy we were both crushing on one of my brother's friends and you know the worst thing is neither of us you know got that date or whatever so i mean it was really stupid and it was pointless and yeah it was just dumb and then when i was in high school i did get in a fist fight with this girl she was my friend in um she was like my friend in freshman year and then after that like i don't know exactly what happened we actually went to a concert together and after that she just kind of like stopped being my friend and it was just over stupid stuff i mean we were naive high school kids and it was just a really stupid fight i ended up getting suspended for three days and it was just one of those situations where nobody ever thought that i out of all my group of friends that i would have been the one to get into a fist fight so you know of course it didn't last very long because then like um the like janitor dude or whatever had like broke us apart and yeah it was stupid um let's see 
turn-ons. So if this is like relating to like, you know, the, you know, significant other, if that's kind of what you're looking for, turn-on, um, definitely a nice smile. Um, that's always nice and cute. Gorgeous eyes. <laughs> Men with big butts. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> I know. Um, yeah. Uh, turn offs would obviously be, you know, complete liars and people that are just, you know, trying to use you, hurt your feelings, that kind of stuff. Definite no no. Um, the last book I read, honestly, you guys, I have a stack of books in my room that I really need to start reading. Uh, I can't remember really the last time that I actually read a book. Um, I know it was back when I was up in Washington, but it's definitely been a couple years, you guys, and I don't even remember the name of the book. So it's been that long. <laughs> Last show I watched is Star. That's the only thing I watched. Like, I don't really watch a lot of TV, so, you know, I caught up on my episodes of Star yesterday, like I said. Um, the last person I talked to, I was actually just over at my brother-in-law's house talking with his wife, so her. At what age did you realize Santa wasn't real? Um, honestly, I have to say I was never really a strong believer in Santa. Uh, my parents never kind of like led us on to believe that he was real. I mean, you know, just as a kid, it's kind of fun to think about it. But, you know, come Christmas time, we always knew in the back of our minds that, you know, our parents were the one who, you know, put the presents and stuff under the tree. So, you know, I was never really a firm believer in Santa. Relationship deal breaker, definitely cheating, you guys. I was dumb enough at one point to let it happen a couple times and you know I've had numerous relationships where the guy cheated or whatever so I mean you know you cheat bye Felicia adios so weird thing you love cows and cactuses <laughs> but I'm sure y'all know that already something that makes me happy definitely my kids um you know they're they're my pride, they're my joy, you know, they turn every, like, sad day into a happy day, so definitely them. Something that makes you sad, um, just, I guess, sometimes life in general, just everything that happens, just sometimes, you know, you can't help but think about it, so it definitely does kind of bring me down a bit, make me feel sad, and also those people that are no longer with us, you know, you start to think about them, or even like, you know, a friend from long ago who's no longer a friend anymore, sometimes you just kind of, you know, remember those special moments that you guys had, and you know, it's just, it's sad sometimes, you know, I wish that, you know, things could have worked out and everything, we wish that, you know, the friend was still back in your life, or the family member was still with you, that kind of stuff so I mean it's definitely just numerous factors there that kind of you know make me feel sad from time to time um, longest you've ever gone without a shower Whew, that's kind of a hard one um, I want to say maybe three days maybe longer but I'm talking this is like when I was in Mexico, so the town that my dad's in, or my dad that my dad's from, they like in the, I believe it's like in the month of April, somewhere around like the spring months, they only get water like once a month. So it's like you can't really shower as often as you'd like to, for the simple fact that you know you gotta reserve the water and stuff. So I want to say that you know the times I was there you know, around that time of year is probably the longest I've ever gone. Obviously, you know, freshen up with some baby wives or like a washcloth, something, whatever. But honestly, it's so gross. Like I cannot stand going like more than two days without a shower because then you just start to feel all yucky and gross and it's just nasty. <laughs> Biggest fear. I've mentioned it numerous times before, you guys, definitely driving. Y'all know I don't drive, and I have my reasons, you guys. It's just there's so many things that have come to my mind 
and just things that I never ever want to have happen so that is why I choose not to drive obviously like my husband he still keeps pushing me to try and drive even my brother's wife she's like oh well you should learn to drive my dad the other day he was even telling me you know you learn how to drive you guys stop telling me to learn how to drive like I get it I know I should but for the simple fact that it just it scares me so bad you guys not necessarily for myself but for my children's sake like it's what I fear the most what is your relationship with your parents like we have a good sorry guys <laughs> kids are being a little loud but my relationship with my parents is actually really great um i talk to my mom at least maybe two to three times a week um we just have a great relationship we i've never really been like super super close with either one of my parents um although you know my dad's always been there for me and my mom's always been there for me but they've both been like their parenting ways have always been different like my dad was always a little bit more strict um more protective and my mom not so much she was more gave me a little bit more freedom and stuff like that but for the most part like i've always gotten along with both of my parents you know uh we've never really fought or anything like that um They've just, they've always been, you know, good parents, always going out of their way to, you know, make me happy and stuff. So, and to this day, you know, like I said, I talk to my mom a few times a week. My dad, I talk to maybe every couple weeks. He's usually just busy with all of his whatever he does. <laughs> He's just kind of involved with a lot of stuff. So he has a lot going on, but I do talk to him, you know, few times a month and he honestly he visits more than my mom does and my mom doesn't actually come and visit just because of like some medical purposes so we always go over there to visit her but my dad he does come and visit and everything and so we we have a good relationship when is your birthday my birthday is january 11th who is your celebrity crush oh I could have told you all my celebrity crushes from like back in the day like I was definitely like Leonardo DiCaprio all the way like I was I never could understand like when I think it was when I was in middle school like when the Pirates of the Caribbean movies first came out everybody was totally obsessed with like Johnny Depp and Orlando Bloom but I I don't they were never I never found them cute <laughs> um but today like I don't really know if I have an actual celebrity crush. Like, there's some guys I've seen in like movies and stuff that, yeah, you know, they're they're pretty cute. Um, who? There's um, who, 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 who? I don't know, cause some of the people that I've always liked, they're like singers too, like Omarion and Marcus Houston. Um, I used to have like a really huge crush on John like Gustavo. Yes, if you guys know what the heck is his name in Romeo and Juliet? Is it Tybalt or Tidball? I don't know, something like that. But um, or, or Sid from uh, <laughs> Ice Age. Yeah, I used to have like a really huge crush on him. Rick Gonzalez um, from Coach Carter who played uh, Timo Cruz. He was always like one of my crushes too. So. There's so many out there, you guys, but right now, right now, I can't really say I specifically am crushing on any celebrity. Definitely lots of, like, past celebrity crushes for sure, though. Okay, next question. Would you ever change anything about yourself? Honestly, I would say that I am, like... <laughs> Yeah, that's my daughter back there, you guys. <laughs> um, but honestly, I would say I've definitely, over the years, be kind of become more of a, like an angry person. Like, I'm always kind of cranky and stuff. And I don't know if it's just because of, like, the kids or just... I don't know what it is, but I never used to be, like, an angry person. I used to be, like, smiles all the time and just so happy all the time but right now i mean just 
I don't know what it is, but I honestly, I feel so, like I hold so much anger in me and it just really makes me kind of cranky. So, I mean, I don't, like I said, I don't know what it is, but if I could change that, I really would, you guys, because I hate being like that. I don't want to be like that. I'm trying to work on it, but it's just, it's super hard and I just, I want to get better about that. Okay, ever sent a sexually explicit text or photo? <laughs> this is very personal, but guilty. I am. Um, I mean, honestly, like, you know, high school, peer pressure, even just things to keep your relationship alive. Sometimes you just, you got to do what you got to do. So, yeah, I, both of them for me. Um, <laughs> oh man, have you ever been walked in on during sex? <laughs> um, yes. <laughs> Funny thing is though, it was with my husband. It was like, you know, when we first started out and everything, my husband had a roommate. And so the roommate that shared the room with him, Hello. like I would, so... When me and my husband first got together, oh my gosh, it's kind of embarrassing um, to even be talking about this, but um, yeah, so we, wow, there's a lot of questions left, so I'm going to see what all I can fit in here, but so yeah, the first time was um, he shared a room with a roommate, and so I would stay over with him, like, I want to say four days out of the week. So we ended up pushing his roommate out to the, the living room. And then there was one time as he needed to grab something. And I guess maybe we just didn't hear him knock. I don't know. And so he kind of walked in on us. And that was, you know, we're scurrying to kind of like hide ourselves or whatever. But um, yeah, <laughs> enough said. <laughs> Ever use marijuana? Yes, I have. Again, the whole kind of peer pressure thing. And yeah. I don't anymore. Last time I used it was April, April 24th, 2010. But in all honesty, there's some days when I, I wish, <laughs> I wish. How old was I when I lost my virginity? I was 15. First kiss, um, actually, my first kiss was when I was 10. And it was totally, totally wrong because it was with somebody who was like way, way older than me. But it was kind of one of those platonic kind of loves. I don't know. It's a long story, you guys. <laughs> but like I said, it definitely was wrong. But, you know, it happened. The kiss, numerous ones actually, but... You know, can't go back, can I? Do you smoke? From every so often, you know, I'll have a cigarette. I used to smoke more. Then I stopped. But, you know, like I said, sometimes there's days when I could use a smoke. And so, you know, I do. Do you drink? I used to be like a total alcoholic when I was back in high school. Hidden that from, like, my parents and stuff. But, you know, I do drink from time to time. I'll have, like, maybe a, like a wine cooler or something like that, like a Mike's Hard Lemonade or a Smirnoff. Um, I don't do beer anymore. It just grosses me out. Um, but tequila, that's my all-time fave. Have you been cheated on? Yes, I have, numerous times. Have you ever catfished anyone? In all honesty, yes, but it was kind of for that purpose, to see if, like, a boyfriend was, like, cheating or, like, willing to cheat. So I did that for that reason. I ever cried over a lover? Yes, one too many times. Stupid, stupid. Mommy. Don't cry over it, dude. Seriously. Dated someone you met online? Plenty of times. Most of the people I dated when I was in high school were from online. And even my husband I met online. So dated someone older or younger than you? Never younger. I mean, maybe like a year or two, but I've always been into older guys. Like when I was 17, I dated a guy who was 29. 
when I was 18, um, I dated a guy who was 33. So quite the age difference there. And, you know, like when I was 15, I had a boyfriend who was like 20, whatever. So, yeah. Given or received a hickey plenty of times, but let me tell you, the worst hickey I ever received, and I tried to hide it. <laughs> Which was impossible, and especially, like, my dad, he totally, like, gave me the worst talk of my life. <laughs> um, I actually had a boyfriend, and he gave me a hickey on my lip. So I literally, like, walked around for days with what looked like a black lip, okay? And I'm like, I'm like this, trying to hide it the whole time, and that didn't work. Ever like to get out of trouble? Obviously, I mean, who hasn't? Like the person your friend was dating. Not necessarily dating, but, um, you know, like an old boyfriend of hers. Yes, fortunately. But I'm, I always kind of like have been that respect. Like if that was your boyfriend, he's off limits kind of thing. Um, fortunately, with one, it... You know, she dated him for a while and then, not necessarily date, but she was into him. I dated him for a little bit and then they ended up getting together and they were together for a while. So, um, but I honestly, I do think that, you know, if your friend dated somebody, I think that he should like be off limits. <coughs> How many relationships have you had? Way too many to count, you guys. Like, I... I used to be such a player back in the days, no joke. I, there was a point in my life where I just did not give a shit about anything, about any guy or whatever, so I was just a total player. I just didn't give enough. But I'm not like that anymore. That was like way back in my high school days, shortly after high school too, and then I kind of started to clean up my act. A movie that always makes you cry, Tyler Perry's Die Every Mad Black Woman. Honestly, a lot of his movies make me cry all the time. And the last question, what color underwear am I wearing right now? Black. So that's all the questions. I'm surprised I actually fit it all in here. I, I'm pretty sure I got them all. But anyway, you guys, enjoy my personal life. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.